how to install your travel log in your car for pain-free driving. The reason I started doing this is because after long drives, I was getting stiff and sore and you get out of the car and you kind of have to stretch. Well, I didn't like that feeling. And when you understand the importance of decompressing your spine and how your spine should stack while you're seated or standing, help me come up with this simple fix. This is a travel log for how to fold it with a simple towel. Just click on the video, how to fold a travel log. We're gonna install it in the vehicle right now. So come with me. All right, you have your travel log folded nicely. I taped it so that it doesn't unfold. Most modern vehicles come with lumbar support and a lot of people are selling lumbar support, which is horizontal. You don't want that because that encourages a sway in your back, which actually tightens the muscles along your spine and doesn't really do you any favors. Those tight muscles lead to compression. So with this solution, you have your entire spine supported vertically in front of your backside. Now notice the bottom of the travel log does not come down to the seat. This space is determined by the size of your backside. So if your backside is bigger, you might come up. If your backside is smaller, you might come down. You really want it to end up right across your natural waist. Now I'm gonna get in and show you how to use the furniture of your car, center console, and armrest to really set yourself up for success with the travel log. So here I am, I have my seat, and what I wanna do is hinge forward as far as I comfortably can, scoot my backside all the way back so my sits bones are making contact with the chair. I actually aim my sits bones for that joint where the back meets the seat, and I try to get them there so that when I adjust, make sure that travel log's dead center on your spine, and then I'm gonna push back into it and roll my spine up like a reverse sit up or crunch. That gives me the most decompression, which is we, what we want during our drives. And then if it's a really long drive, don't worry about it. Every time you stop, fill up for gas, rest stop, whatever, use that furniture to re-establish the space in your spine. Now that vertical support is so important because most of us are doing this for work all day long. And when we get in our car, those conforming seats actually push our shoulders forward. So to combat that, that vertical support allows our shoulders to come back to their natural spot. And now with the advent of airbags, we're actually supposed to be holding down here instead of up here. So that also gives your shoulders the opportunity to be open and your chest open and decompress so that while you drive, you can actually start to feel better from decompression, shoulders back and down, and an open chest, which allows you to breathe better. This is how you drive pain-free. Try it out, let us know.